hundred years ago, a brave band of pioneers conquered these Rocky Mountains on their way to settling the untamed frontier. Today, there's still some men to match these mountains. On Saturday afternoons in the autumn, in this tiny football stadium in Colorado Springs, Colorado, that pioneering spirit is reborn, and it's embodied by a young man who's had mountains to climb his whole life. In the mountains above Steamboat Springs, Colorado, a young athlete prepares for his first year of college competition. His name is Tom Southall, and he's special. Despite being born without a right arm from the elbow down, Tom Southall earned 12 letters in four sports and was named Colorado's High School Athlete of the Year. My handicap is probably made me work harder. You know, I don't know if I would have done everything I have if I was, you know, had two hands. I probably wouldn't have worked as hard. You know, that's had a great deal to do with what success I've had. Like if I had been born with two hands and then had it you know, like cut off or something, but since you know, I was born with it and you know learned to crawl with it and walk with it, that's you know I've adjusted to it, and so it's not a problem anymore. It's difficult to go back and recall those moments uh, 18 years ago now. I had the problem of going home and telling the other six kids that they had a new baby brother, but their baby brother only had one arm. And uh, we went through some difficult moments, but then the next morning we all went over to church and thanked God for our little brother. I think Tommy first became aware of his handicap when he was in uh, about third grade. Tears were just flowing down his cheeks, and I asked him if he was hurt, and uh, he looked at me, and tears coming down his face, and he says, but why? And he put out his arm, and I said, I don't know why, and God only sends crosses to special people who can bear them and you're a very special person. And uh, I have not ever heard him question it again, have never heard him cry over it. And I think he knows that it's Tom, and this is part of him, and that's what makes him special. At Steamboat Springs High, Tom played trumpet in the school band, and academically finished in the top 10 of his graduating class. But it was his athletic ability that set him apart from all others. Tom Southall led the Steamboat Springs basketball team in steals and assists, and in his senior season, made the state tournament all-star team. But his finest high school sport was the one he almost didn't get to play. When he came into the high school as a freshman, the doctors wouldn't sign his physical card. They wouldn't release him for football at first. They were very concerned, and I think it was a legitimate concern on their part. His reply was to mom and dad, all my life you've told me I'm not handicapped and never to act like I'm handicapped and now you're telling me I am. And the parents said there was just no way then they could stop him. And I think then blossomed a tremendous career. Tailback Tom Southall ran wild through the Colorado High School record book. As a junior, he rushed for 2,180 yards, including a single game total of 412 yards. He was also his team's toughest defensive back, and those who felt sorry for this handicapped kid soon got the message. This was no charity case. Here was a legitimate athletic marvel with the quickest feet in Colorado. Despite his spectacular high school career, college scouts were skeptical. Even those from Division III schools like Colorado College. 
First time I heard about Tommy was from high school coaches around the state saying what a great athlete he was. Uh, a one-armed athlete, so much is written and you hear so many things that are almost unbelievable about uh, people like this that uh, I, I still had trouble uh, envisioning his being able to compete uh, even at Division III college level. And then the first day of two-a-days, I had no doubt. It was just no doubt. I, I watched him catch a football. God, you know, I, I couldn't imagine how long it's taken him to accomplish this. And he does it so easy. Nothing. There's nothing he can't do. That's why he's back there. You think I'm... I'm playing favorites, you, you know, hell, I want to win. He's back there because he deserves to be back there. You know, I put the one-armed kid out there. By his sophomore season, Tom Southall was nationally ranked in kick returns. So his coach inserted him in the Colorado College single wing and looked for ways to get him the ball. Soon he was his team's second leading receiver and third ranked rusher. I don't know, the longer you're around him, the less I appreciate him. I mean, damn it, he's, he's no different now than anybody else. You know, before I marveled, Jesus, everything he did, I, I just hung on it. Now, damn, he doesn't do it. I, you know, I kind of want to go out and kick him in the ass saying, hey, just because you got one arm doesn't make any catch that damn thing, see? But it, it's really a super thing. Tommy, now, uh, when we run the curls, they're saying the fullback is wide open. Don't okay. go too far downfield. Step up and get lost and then belly out of there. Huh? He, he can do everything with uh, that one good arm he has that I've ever done with, uh, with both of mine. Pray for some protection, guys. If we get it, it's a touch. Come on, Tommy, take it home for us, son. Take it home for us. Yeah, yeah, there he is! It's a touchdown! It's a touchdown! Way to go, Way to go! Way to go! A remarkable young man has done the impossible, then topped it. But whatever personal glory lies in the future, takes second place to what Tom Southall perceives as his special mission in life. Maybe there's a handicapped kid out, you know, in America somewhere, and he sees a picture of me, you know, carrying the ball, you know, with, and he sees my arm, you know, the way it is, and he says, wow, that guy's playing football, you know, or maybe somebody that's not handicapped will see me and hopefully get motivated somehow by that and say, wow, I can do that. And if people had been telling him that he can't do that kind of stuff, he'll say, well, look, there's somebody that's doing it. Maybe I can do something like that. And that's the way I look at it, because I just happen to be born without a hand. So I might as well use what God gave me. And hopefully it'll help somebody else.